I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from my subscriber. This time I've received uh, about 20 questions both sides of a page all relating to application of quadratic functions. Now it clearly indicates that some students need a lot of help. So while answering the question I'll kind of give you a few more concepts which will help you uh, approach such questions. I'm not going to take all of them but in this playlist I'll provide you solutions of most of them. Uh, so let's look into the question. A lidless box is to be constructed from a square piece of tin by cutting a 10 centimeter square from each corner and bending up the sides for the box. If the volume of the box is 1200 centimeter cube, find the dimensions of the box. So first step is to sketch, right? So what we are given here is a square piece of tin. Now square means all sides are equal. So this is very important information which is given, which we should not skip. Correct? Now the second step is by cutting 10 centimeter squares from each corner. So when I have to cut from each corner, it's a good idea to draw these dotted lines, as you must have seen in many books. So where this is the square 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, right? So this dimension is 10, correct? That's what it means. Now, when you make a box, how is it going to look like? So, so it may look like, let's draw this to green part. So whenever you're making 3D figure, it's a good idea to use X and Y in, at an angle of 30 degrees, right? So when you make this, it gives you a look and feel of 3D, right? And that becomes my height. So you got the concept, right? So that becomes the height. And I think it's not very difficult to make this, correct? And uh, that's the back side, which you could draw like. So we're talking about this box. So this is what we are calling a box, correct? Now it says if the volume of the box, so the volume of the box is given to us. So what we will do here is, while defining the variables, we'll give variables for length and width of the box, correct? So let this be x, what should that be? Since it is square, right, all these sides are also equal. We just took 10, 10 from both sides. So that is also X. And that is what we are bending. So that has to be 10. Perfect. So that is what you get as the dimensions. Now I think we are ready to solve the question. First thing is to visualize, make a sketch, define variables. So we are saying let the side or the base of the box be X square units. Okay. If the volume of the box is 1200 centimeter cube, there is no harm in reading a question multiple times. I think it is important, right? So that's why I'm repeating it more than required actually. Uh, anyway, just to, you know, emphasize on the point. If the volume of the box is 1200 centimeter cubes, we say volume of the box is 1200 centimeter cube. So all units are in centimeters, right? So all units are in centimeters. This was also centimeters. Now, what is volume? Area of the base into height. So we could write this as x times x times 10. We're talking about this box now. Is 1200. There's no need to write units. We'll include it in the solution, the answer, right? So this could be written as 10x square equals to 1200 x square equals to 1200 divided by 10 x square equals to 120 x is equals to square root of 120 so normally you do plus and minus however in these dimensions all are positive so this should not be negative it doesn't make sense right so we know we know that x has to be greater than zero perfect now how to solve this well, we already have the solution. The only thing you could do is simplify radical. So let's also learn that. We have square root of 120. That means you could write this as 12 times 10. Okay, so I'm taking more steps. 
just to show you 4 times 3 is 12 times 10 okay now square root of 4 is 2 and uh, you can't help this so you should write 30 is it okay so we get x as 2 square root 30 so that becomes the dimension so you can now write the answer that it is uh, 2 square root 30 in centimeters times 2 square root 30 in centimeters times 10 in centimeters now it's a good idea to check also so when you multiply all this you should get 1200 centimeter cube so that is how a question should be solved so i hope all the steps are clear i'll keep this as my first video in the whole list and then feel free to go through the other videos in this list post your comments and suggestions and i really encourage you to post questions thanks for watching if you like and subscribe that'd be even better thank you